You know, I've been wondering about the fact that I see so much uh, forward tongue position, so many patients that are from little ones. You know, you even see it, of course you see it in infants because as they develop and are nursing, we've got forward tongue position issues, but we see it in our toddlers, we see it in our school age children, we see it in our, our teenagers. And then after we see all these forward tongue positions, low forward tongue, forward tongue swallows, um, then we start seeing the sequela. We start seeing the open bites, the vertical growth, the class three growth, the deep bite growth, literature on that, interesting stuff, can go either way. Because as the mandible rotates, it can rotate in a counterclockwise direction and cause deep bite instead of open bite. The point is, these things can all be related to forward tongue position and they're all pathologic. They're all erroneous um, sequela of growth, if you will. And so we see a lot of that. We see patients who are having a hard time, they can't bite their peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They can't keep their tongue in their mouth and they look kind of silly. And you know what that means about aesthetics? Because a child does not look beautiful when their tongue's hanging out of their mouth. Um, we see a lot of sequela and a lot of forward tongues. Why is that? I was recently going through my patient population and realizing it's about 70% of the patients that I see. And guess what? It's not normal. It may have become typical, but it is not good growth. It's adverse growth, the sequela. So why are we seeing so much forward tongue position? Well, as I've talked about in a recent um, video, part of it is the lack of breathing through their mouths because of all the airway issues possible. Everything from enlarged tonsils, enlarged adenoids, um, dense turbinates, lots of reasons for that. It's also a factor of habits. It's also a factor of the fact that they don't have nitric oxide in their, blood, in their uh, bloodstream from nasal mucosa, not breathing through the nose. And it also is, is part of the issues with obesity and the whole concept of airway issues in children and of course in adults, but we're talking about children here. Forward tongue position, 70% of our patients, my patients, what is that about? That's what it's about. And these are all things that you can address, doctor. You can help. These are all things that you can change or help change for that child. So think about it as you see your child patients, look for it, identify it, and give me a holler and let me tell you what all you can do because it's huge. Forward tongue position. Signing off.